Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be talking about a relatively unusual type of an asteroid that was actually discovered not so long ago in uh, Africa and we're also going to be talking about this theory that this asteroid may have created that suggests that there might have been another planet in our solar system that met a violent end. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So this is actually not the asteroid uh, I'm going to be talking about, uh, because the asteroid became a meteorite and landed, or crashed there, or basically exploded on the planet Earth. There's actually a lot to say about this asteroid, uh, known as 2018 TC3. You can kind of see the simulation of the asteroid right here, and also the location where it landed uh, in this region. Or, if you scroll to the bottom, it actually shows you the actual findings and uh, the actual more specific location of where it actually uh, detonated and where it ended up uh, landing in, um, in Africa, in North Africa. Now, interestingly, this asteroid created quite a lot of really interesting uh, and very unusual theories. And specifically, the one we're going to be talking about relates to uh, an unusual idea of it actually maybe being responsible uh, or being born from an explosion or a collision of a relatively large planet. So let's talk a little bit about it and let's actually simulate this in Universe Sandbox. So first of all, what exactly is and why exactly is this asteroid unusual? It's uh, of a type of uh, asteroids and there's actually, you can probably see quite a lot of them here, uh, called uh, Eurylite. Now, we don't really know how many they are, there are in our solar system. We don't really know how big they are. What we do know is that we don't know where they came from. Uh, usually, most asteroids in our solar system have classifications. They're classified as either Jupiter type, they're classified as um, Vesta type, Ceres type. Uh, basically, they're, they're usually classified by their origin. So, in other words, we normally know where they came from. We even know when asteroids came from Mars. Like, for example, if Mars ex uh, experienced uh, some sort of a collision on the surface and something may have crashed here, let's just create a small collision, um, and created a very large explosion that then resulted in pieces of Mars basically flying into the, uh, uh, into the solar system and eventually making it to Earth. We even know when it's basically a Martian asteroid. As a matter of fact, one of my favorite asteroids, uh, ALH, 1984 uh, came from Mars. This is because I basically uh, became interested in astrobiology and astronomy from the, uh, based on this asteroid, based, based on the findings of this particular asteroid. And this asteroid was found back in 1984. But 2008 TC3 and more uh, generally the so-called Uraeolites are actually a group of asteroids uh, that we don't really know much about in terms of their origin. Here's actually a typical uh, realite, what it kind of looks like. Their name comes from a uh, smaller uh, town in, in Russia, I believe. Or is it Russia? I think it's Russia. Uh, Republic of Russia. Yeah, there you go. And um, their type has actually been discovered back in 1886, but this particular asteroid that we're talking about today was discovered in 2008. Now, the interesting thing about this particular asteroid is that um, this is the first time ever we were able to track an asteroid even before uh, it was able to reach Earth and have an impact. As a matter of fact, 19 hours before it um, entered our atmosphere, we were already tracking it. And this kind of indicated to us that we finally reached the ability to track near-Earth objects uh, relatively accurately even before they enter Earth. And this, this object was only 4 meters long, so it's relatively small. Um, and this was a huge milestone for space tracking. Uh, we were able to simulate it, we were able to take um, infrared photos of it, and also uh, even photos of an actual flash when it entered the atmosphere. Now, when this particular asteroid crashed on the, on the surface, uh, we recovered about 600 pieces, and then we started looking inside of them and discovered some unusual things. And uh, the most unusual thing was that we discovered nano diamonds inside the um, asteroid. And even though nano diamonds are not particularly interesting, usually, uh, these particular diamonds suggested that 
this uh, asteroid came from a smaller planet and the diamonds were actually um, formed inside of the planet. And specifically here, if we were to kind of estimate the size of this planet, it would be either Mercury-sized or maybe Mars-sized. So, in other words, it came from an object similar to Mercury in mass that was able to create these diamonds on the inside. And then something happened to this planet, specifically it actually experienced a violent collision that shattered these diamonds and created um, these asteroids that we now call uh, uraelites. Now, this is very interesting because it kind of suggests that not only was there another planet in our solar system, this planet may have actually experienced a very violent, very uh, extremely violent um, collision and demise that destroyed it completely. It eliminated it from the solar system. And we think this happened before Earth and Mercury and other planets were actually born. As a matter of fact, we think that this was the so-called first round of planetary formation in our solar system. And that suggests that there were other planets, maybe similar to this unusual planet, that were born before Earth, before Mercury, before Mars. All of this is actually based on a study uh, by uh, the main researcher whose name is, I believe, Farhan Nabi. I hope I pronounced this correctly. I probably didn't. And I'm sorry if I did. Um, and the study is called A Large Planetary Body Inferred from Diamond Inclusions um, in a Uriolite Meteorite. In other words, they were able to infer that there was most likely a um, very interesting planet a long time ago, uh, more like 10 million years after the creation of the solar system, similar in um, size and in mass to Mars, that may have experienced a collision. Now, you might assume that maybe just maybe this was the same object that actually created the moon. Uh, basically, we know that there was a Mercury-sized object that collided with Earth, and we call it Theia usually. And this particular object may have actually um, been responsible for the creation of the moon and the Earth. But the thing is, we would actually have similar composition of that meteorite to our solar system. Oh, sorry, to our to our Earth, to our planet. And we don't. Uh, Uraelites are different in composition. They suggest another Mercury-sized object uh, that may have been somewhere in the solar system that exploded. Now, could they have come from actual Mercury and Mars? Well, we have received uh, those asteroids as well, and we know that they do produce slightly different composition as well. So, in other words, this particular object, which also seems to have organic molecules in it, including uh, amino acids, of all things. Amino acids are the things in your body. This asteroid had them inside, so that's another mystery. Um, and we think that this probably came from a completely different object, probably somewhere in the orbit between Mars and Mercury. We don't really know where. So we're going to create a random rocky planet here. In this particular simulation, uh, this planet was proceeded generated to be called Oran and to look like this. Now, we don't really know if this is what it looked like, but for all uh, intents and purposes, we're going to assume that it did. Now, so what exactly happened to it? Well, it may have actually received a collision from another similar body pretty much head on. And the collision was so powerful that it basically, let's actually maybe increase speed here a little bit, making it uh, slightly faster. Uh, the collision was so fast and so violent that it may have completely eliminated it and destroyed this planet. Okay, well, that didn't really work, but it will work if I press explode. And uh, this resulted in a large amount of debris and basically these asteroids still uh, float around the solar system. Alternatively, this is what could have happened. So let's place another random rocky planet. So this is situation number one, maybe not as likely. Situation number two is a little bit more likely. So maybe, just maybe, there was another planet called, oh God, this is a very long name. I'm never going to be able to pronounce it. All right, so here we go. We're going to give it a little bit less mass. And it's called Sataksutsibuiste. No. Why did it have to be so difficult? Anyway, so this planet, that actually looks very beautiful and very uh, metallic, um, received a collision, probably from maybe this direction, 
that because of the speed of the collision oh that was too fast let's try it again because of the speed of the collision resulted in this planet getting so much extra velocity that it ended up being kicked out of the solar system and it essentially either collided with a gas giant on the way or most likely just basically became a rogue planet and escaped into the outskirts of the uh, solar system first and then basically escaped our solar system altogether now the collision obviously created a lot of asteroids but um, at the same time we lost another planet now this is a slightly more likely um, scenario but of course there's another scenario and that would be a collision with any of the gas giants or more interestingly with our own sun the collision may have actually resulted in this particular planet basically flying into our sun and being absorbed by it as well and obviously the resulting uh, explosion left all of these uh, asteroids orbiting around the solar system so which of these is more likely i guess time will tell and more research but for now we, what we do know is that these unusual asteroids do represent this lost planet well anyway the reality is that we don't know anything about this lost planet we don't really know anything about it other than the fact that it left a lot of mysterious signs around our solar system and as we discover more and more of these asteroids we might be able to learn a little bit more about about the origins of our own solar system and also about the idea of uh, planet generation and how our own earth may have been born as well and the mercury that i placed here earlier turned into this tiny little piece of mercury that is now super tiny and only about 98 kilometers in radius the rest of it basically fell to the planet earth anyway that's all i wanted to talk about in this video and hopefully now you'll know a little bit more about this unusual missing planet and the signs it left around the solar system and also these meteorites that seem to have no known origin i'll see you guys tomorrow thank you so much for watching space out and as always bye bye